apologies i am a bit late today the reason being i went to office had lots of work i came back around 8:30 had dinner took some rest and here i am in front of the laptop however in the evening i released best technical resume template for all the college students who are looking for resume creation from internship internships and job job perspective so do check this video out here i and abhishek jain one of the subscriber of coding decoded who works at morgan stanley reviewed four to five reviews and resumes and by this session you will get to know the most common mistakes that are committed especially by the college students while building their resumes while crafting their the it up and in the end we have also shared a template that act as a reference for all of you guys on how to build or craft your resumes efficiently that will catch hr's attention so do check this video out it's a long video but i am pretty sure it will keep you engrossed throughout the session i am attaching its link in the description below so do check this out whenever you get some time and i am pretty sure it's not going to disappoint you guys now let's get back to the problem number of matrices that sum to target also let me just introduce myself for those who don't know me i am sanjeev deja i am working as technical architect sd for at adobe and today's problem is a hard problem it, it's indeed a hard problem however it's an extension to one of the previous problem that we have solved in the past so even before jumping on to the previous problem let's try and understand the question here we are given a matrix and a target value what do we need to do we need to identify the number of non empty sub matrices matrices that sum up to the target the question is pretty understandable so you need to identify all those the count of those sub matrices that sum up till the target and if i ask you guys have you seen such a question in the past obviously you will say no no we haven't solved such a question in the past but we have solved one d type of the same problem this is a 2d problem we have solved one d type of the same problem which is sub bar is sum equal to k lead code 560 this question is a prerequisite question for solving this one so because this is an extension of the same concept over 2d this is for 1d so i will urge you guys to first have the look at this video here we will be using prefix sum and and maps to come up with the algorithm and once you gain enough understanding of this algorithm then only jump onto this problem for those who have already aware of this concept this video is for them i'll be sharing more to it in the presentation section so let's quickly pop on to it again i'm restating that lead code 560 is a prerequisite here uh, an array is given to us and we are also given a target value what we need to identify we need to identify the number of sub matrices in this 1d array that sum up till the target value and in today's problem we are given instead of 1d 2d matrix so how can we extend the same approach using maps and prefix sum to actually arrive at the solution so i hope you went through this video and consider this method as a black box helper method wherein if you are given a matrix 1d matrix and a target value you are able to count all possible number of sub matrices that exists in this 1d matrix to give us the target sum value so let's with this assumption let's proceed ahead now it's time to apply the same algorithm over to a 2d matrix so the intent is really clear what we need to identify we need to identify the sum of the each and every sub matrix that exists in this entire 2d array and once we have that sum value we can compare it to the target given value and in case both of them turns out to be equal we increment the count value otherwise we skip it up so the intent is really clear if we are able to identify the sum of each and every sub matrix that exists in this entire array our work is done So let's go step by step. Let's consider the case where we are only have the first row available to us. And what we can do since we have only one row available to us, we can apply the previous algorithm, this one prefix sum plus map based approach onto this first row and we can identify all the possible sub matrices that exist in this row. So it would be one would be this one, one would be this one, other one would be this one, the third one would be next one would be this one the fourth one would be this one fifth one or fourth one would be this one so using this algorithm prefix sum plus map based approach is that it can be easily identified in time complexity of order of one so the first row gets covered now comes the concern what we will do we will simply add the elements up starting from this particular row onto the next row 
So let's go ahead and add them up. What do we get? 0 plus 3 is 3. 1 plus 4 is 5. So let me just write 5 over here. Then 2 plus 5 is 7. Now we have a row which is something like this. 3, 5 and 7. What we will be doing? We will be applying the same algorithm that we talked about over here. Prefix sum plus map based approach onto this particular row. And what all cases will it cover? It will cover all the cases inclusive of the first two rows. Let me just highlight few of the cases. The first one could be this one. Other one could be this one. Next one could be this one. Followed by combination of these two. Followed by combination of these three. The other could be this one. And the next could be this one. Because as per this algorithm, we will be again identifying the prefix sum over this entire array and using the map based approach in order to identify those sub matrices wherein the sum, is, so, sum turns out to be equal to the target value. And let's proceed ahead. Let's apply the same algorithm onto the next row as well. So in the next iteration, what we will be doing? We will be adding these values 3, 5 and 7 onto 6, 7 and 8. So let me just go ahead and write the total sum. The total sum will turn out to be 9. Here it would be 12 followed by 7 plus 8 is 15. And again, we will apply the same prefix sum map based technique in order to identify the sub matrices where the total sum turns out to be the target sum. And what all cases will it cover? It will cover all the cases starting from the first row up till the third row. So let me just highlight few of them. One could be this one, other one would be this one, other one would be this one, followed by combination of these two, followed by combination of these three, followed by combination of these two and this one single as well. So here you will see all the possible combinations wherein first row is included, second row is included and third row is included gets covered. Now comes the concern, are more cases left? The answer is yes. So what are those cases? Let's start the iteration instead from the first row to the second row, which is 3, 4 and 5. So let's redo the same iteration starting from 3, 4 and 5. And using this row, we will again apply the same prefix sum map based approach. And what all cases will it cover? So consider the first row has gone. We are only focusing on the second row this time. Now it's again time to apply the map based prefix sum approach onto this entire row and what all cases will it cover? It will cover these cases, 3 treated independently, 4 treated independently, 5 treated independently, the combination of 3 and 4, combination of 3, 4 and 5, combination of 4 and 5 and 5 treated independently as I already told. So all possibilities that could exist in this entire row gets covered. That means we are done with this iteration as well. Now what we will do, we will combine the second row and the third row. So 3 plus uh, 6 gives you 9, 4 plus 7 gives you 11 and 5 plus 8 gives you 13. And let's again apply the map based prefix sum approach. Uh, we are using it as a tool across all the rows. What all cases will it cover? It will cover all the cases that form the combination of the second and the third row. So to highlight, let's do that. 3, 6, 4, 7, 5, 8, 3, uh, 3 4, 6, 7, 4, 7, 5, 8, 5, 8 independently and 3, 6, 4, 7, 5, 8 considered all together. So when we apply prefix sum approach onto this row, all the possible cases gets covered. So we are done with the matrices that, that, that start from the second row and it's time to extend the same algorithm onto the third row itself. So this time what we will consider, we will consider all the sub matrices starting from the third row and what would be those 6, 7 and 8. There are no more rows ahead and we can simply apply the prefix sum map based approach onto this row and it will cover all the possibilities that could exist in this so in, in this row and with this we have successfully considered all the possibilities that may exist in this complete 2D matrix. And in order to understand the code fully, how, it's, how it is operationalizing, let's quickly walk through the coding section and I promise once you will go through it, you will get a good hold of the concept.
the first and the foremost thing that i have done here is to use the solution from sub array sum equal k so i've exactly used the solution that i proposed over here and i have treated it as a black box so if you go and check that solution i have copy pasted it over here and i'll be using this in order to derive the solution so let's walk through it i'm not going into the details of this helper method for this you need to visit that video so let's walk through the rest of the algorithm here i've taken two variables n and m one for the row count other one for column count and this array represents some row represents the row that will be considered at any particular time for operating over sub array sum algorithm and the size of this row would be equal to nothing but number of columns that we have moving ahead i have created an answer variable i iterate over a for loop and here the iterating variable is i that represent the starting row index and i have filled in the sum row in to start with with all zeros and i have created another for loop wherein the iterator is j and it is acting as the ending row index so if you carefully observe then two things are changing they, there is basically a range of rows over we are over which we are considering in each iteration and these two for loop is helping us derive those two rows starting row and ending row once we have identified those up what do we do we add the elements across the columns together and we form the sum row once we have identified the sum row we apply this algorithm sub array sum over to sum row and we pass in the target so this problem reduces to 1d now and whatever answer is returned from the helper method we add it to the answer variable in the end we simply return the answer so let's try this up the time complexity of this approach is order of n square into m m square into n okay this is a typo this should be answer this should be answer right let me just submit this accepted 90% faster it is pretty good memory usage is equally well with this let's wrap up today's session i hope you enjoyed it if you did then please don't forget to like share and subscribe to the channel thanks for viewing it have a great day ahead and stay tuned for more update from coding decoded i'll see you tomorrow with another fresh question but till then goodbye